Oh, there's nothing like your love. It's nothing like your love. And then this is the reason. It's nothing like your love. My heart is like a drum. Beats to the rhythm of the feeling that I have when I'm with you. Welcome to a Barcelona vlog. Very exciting. It is about 9.45 in the morning on Tuesday, November 22nd today. We have been in Barcelona for two days already. We got in Sunday around lunchtime. We spent the day on Sunday really trying to stay up, <laughs> trying to get on the Barcelona time schedule. As soon as we got here, we kind of dropped off our bags and then went out to get something to eat. We went to this restaurant called Honest Greens. It was so good. It was so bumping. There was a massive line, but it moved really quickly and the food came really fast as well. If you want something really healthy where like every little piece of your meal is homemade, Definitely check it out. I had the falafel plate and Will had the poke bowl and they were so good. We are staying in El Born for the first part of our trip here. So we spent the rest of that night just basically kind of bar hopping, restaurant hopping, going from like place to place, having drinks and a snack, trying to just stay up. <laughs> We're so tired and having a few drinks really helped to keep us awake, which was fabulous. None of the places that we went were really, I would say, noteworthy. Like, we had a great time and everything was fine, but I wouldn't say it was, like, recommendation worthy. And then yesterday, we spent most of the day just kind of walking around and exploring. We didn't really have any plan in mind. We just started to walk and we came across a couple of really cool things. We found the Arc de Triomphe and the little park that was there. And then we found this other amazing fountain. It was so beautiful. And then last night we had a really amazing, amazing, amazing dinner. Like the food was incredible and super unique as well. We have a really full day planned today. We're going to start this morning off by going to La Guarda Familia. I pre-purchased tickets and we booked a time for 10.45. So we're just getting ready really quickly to head out and then we're going to grab a coffee and something to eat for breakfast and then we're gonna walk over there. It's about a 35 minute walk from where we're staying in Elborn to La Sagrada Familia. So it's all gonna be in a direction that we haven't really gone yet. And the coffee shop that we're going to this morning is a place that we had researched before coming here. So I'm excited to check that out. <laughs> did not pack even close to warm enough. <laughs> I looked at the weather and saw like 17 and 20 degrees and packed for summer. I literally brought one sweater and all summer clothes. So I had to buy a new sweater yesterday because I was freezing. But this is so cute.
Barcelona, you're going to La Sagorda Familia anyway, so you don't need me to say it, but you should go to La Sagorda Familia if you're coming to Barcelona. It was beautiful. It's interesting because I actually thought like the outside was almost more like interesting to look at than the inside. Obviously it's so beautiful and colorful on the inside, but there was almost more to look at on the facades on the outside. It's gonna be really cool to come back in 20, 30 years and see like what has changed because it's still under construction, it's still being built. We are now out for lunch. We just did a quick Google and picked a place that had good reviews in the area. This place is called Miss Mona. We were planning to have breakfast with our coffee this morning, but when we got to the coffee shop, there was no food there. <laughs> And then we ended up being 15 minutes late for our appointment to get into the Familia. So we're starving and so ready to eat. Okay, so we're gonna continue our Gaudi tour. We're gonna head to Casa Bachelo. It's like a 25 minute walk from here, so we're gonna just take it slow and pop it into and pop into any stores or anything we see. I'm also gonna try and find some tights because I feel like any of my summer outfits can be made winter outfits if I just put tights on. So I'm gonna look for those so that I can actually wear the clothes that I brought here. Baby, I can tell you having fun. You got my heart on a string. Just to watch me run. So it was 50 euros to go inside, which is more than La Sagrada Familia. So we decided not to do that. But I saw on TikTok, there's this art store around the corner and you can come through the art store up to the second level and they have this outdoor terrace. And you can see the back right here, which is very cool. We didn't have the intention of doing all of the tourist stops in one day today, but it seems like it's happening. We're gonna go to La Bocaria now for maybe some lunch, find some snacks. Okay guys, so it's five o'clock, we're home. I feel exhausted. We walked 16,000 steps today, which is pretty solid. I thought I would do a little Airbnb tour for you. Disclaimer, our stuff is literally everywhere. 
we've been here for a few days already so it's gonna look messy but i want to show it to you anyways so you just saw the entrance it's really cool it's in this really beautiful old building um so this is the door right here that we just came through so we have a nice little kitchenette dishwasher an espresso machine everything you could need and then if you go this way, this is kind of the main living area. So great big dining table. I feel like if they got rid of this glass table and these plastic chairs and did something in like wood or a natural texture, it would really elevate this space. But anyways, uh, this is the living room area. Right here we have a beautiful terrace, a little balcony. Great little view. And then this is the reason I booked this is for this beautiful arch here with the exposed wooden beams in the ceiling. It's just beautiful. And I just really wanted to stay somewhere that really had that old feel that you can really, I don't know, take advantage of here, you know? So we've got some dishes, some dishware here. And then as we go through here, this is the bedroom. This bed is incredibly comfortable. I've been having amazing sleeps. It's so cozy. And then there's another little terrace here, but this one's on like a really dark kind of alleyway almost street. So not much going on there. And then Will's in the bathroom here, but there's not much to show. It's nothing really special. The main living area has just got all of these beautiful features and it's been great. The location has been prime, pristine. We're gonna get ready to go out tonight. I'm gonna put on a little bit more makeup and maybe try to do something with my hair. I might try slicking it back, it needs a wash. We have tickets to a concert tonight. Something that Will and I really love to do when we're traveling is to just see what bands are playing in the cities that we're visiting and we'll pick one that we like the sound of and then just kind of listen to their music between when we book the trip and when we travel. And the band that we discovered for this trip is called Porridge Radio. They're kind of like a punk indie band from the UK. I'm really looking forward to it. We're seeing them at Sala Apollo. So it's about, again, a 15 minute walk from where we are. Everything is so close to where we are here. We're staying in this Airbnb for five days. And then in five days, we are switching Airbnb so that we can stay in another part of the city and just have a little bit of a different experience. So we're here for 10 days total, which is fabulous. We're just gonna hang out, drink some wine and get ready to go. Oh, there's nothing like you love. It's nothing like you love. It's nothing like you love. So here is my outfit of the night. I just bought this top and this little skirt from Zara before we left. And then I have my little new bag from Oakenfort. I did just end up slicking my hair and I added a little bit of makeup. My new tights, I'm ready to go. We're gonna try and go to a place called Bar El Born. The restaurant that we went to last night, we didn't make a reservation for and we had to wait a little bit. It was no problem, but I feel like there are some places where we might not be able to even get a table. So hopefully we'll be able to get one. Also, I don't think I mentioned at all in this video, but Will and I are here on our honeymoon for anybody that's new, so yeah. We're gonna head out for dinner and some drinks before the show. I'm looking straight ahead, eyes fixed on you instead. Everything that tries to bring me down. Cause you are everything that love should ever be. All I want is that was great. Highly recommend for a cocktail. The drinks are fabulous. We are heading now for more drinks and maybe something to eat, hopefully. We'll see if we can get in. There's nothing like you love. Oh, there's nothing. 